I made a 3D print basically out of curiosity and I just was really taken aback by the result. It was so beautiful, so smooth, and so just the more I learned and the more I played with the results, the more magical the results became to me. My name is Welly Fletcher. We're in my solo exhibition Slant at the Richard Levy Gallery in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The project started when I went on a trip to Ulm, Germany last summer to visit uh, the prehistoric lion human sculpture. That's a 40,000 year old carved mammoth tusk sculpture. And one of the sculptures was displayed on this little wire uh, armature to kind of show that it was a head. And it really struck me, that sort of massive, beautifully carved object with this linear light structure. Um, so I'd been making drawings of that over the past year and eventually it evolved into one of the pieces for this show. And so that's specifically the one that I ended up using the big rep to do the 3D print. And then I started reading about PLA, which is created using non-carbon based processes and is a form of a bioplastic. And so the more kind of uh, magical the results became to me. And then having the access to the big rep, kind of clear it would be amazing test. And the result is really exciting to me and definitely has opened up uh, new pathways for me in, in the materials I think about in my work and also 3D printing and other fabrication processes. You know, 3D prints are so incredible because you print them and then they're, they're just a finished object. A 3D print has this kind of magic of pushing a button, seeing some layers be made, but then showing up and then that object appearing there. So that was really exciting. Adventure of printing something this large scale was the next series of experiments and collaborations using the Big Rep 1 in our art lab space at the University of New Mexico really giving students a chance to understand what it is a more traditional or analog technique with their hands and what happens through the translation process into digital fabrication techniques like 3D printing with the Big Rep 1. My goal with di digital technologies is really to use them as a drawing tool, to use these fabrication tools in ways that are unexpected, to kind of get past the idea that they're fabricating a pre-existing idea and there it is. Often when making something very large in sculpture, you have to think of components. How does it come apart? How do you move it from place to place? What makes is a reasonable amount to lift? And so the opportunity the Big Rep 1 offered was to print this object as a seamless whole, and that is pretty remarkable. Material selection was probably the most difficult part to navigate for me. I know that you can 3D print with many different things, and so ended up going with the Big Rep Orange. The Big Rep is pretty amazing at changing spools. It's pretty seamless on the object, so I had actually set my calendar up to come over the course of 18 days and change the spool every day. Advice for those using 3D printing in their work, I would say above all come with a sense of adventure, letting the process inform what happens. To allow yourself to enjoy the whole process, all the digital technologies have more and more of a role in the field of sculpture. You know, artists really trying to think about what could happen using this technology and how this, these plastics can make objects that are not possible to make by hand. I think that, that you know, that's really exciting territory for the future as well.